Where I'm going to begin before we do any actual math stuff is you need to have sort of a, the lay of the land of this topic and where it's headed. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few dot points so you know, okay, what are the rough kind of things we're going to go through so that um, you kind of are tracking us in terms of the progress through the course and also how it relates to the integration you already know. So, where we're going to begin first is with the extension of three things you already know that we've just spent some time doing, okay? Namely, integrating... Um, this should actually be over here. Um, trig functions, right? So trig functions, we've already been doing this, right? But often if we want to make it harder in a two unit or extension one context, we'll give you something which is a bit more tricky, it's more complicated, there's constants or coefficients flying around, and then we'll say, okay, differentiate this, hence integrate that, right? And so they give you a bit of a clue. In extension two, you don't need clues. We're going to spend so much time in these that you will start to recognize, oh, I know what this one is, without being given the clue. In a similar way, when we're doing that graphing question, first thing this morning, you're like, oh, okay, I don't necessarily need all of the hints that this question is going to give me. And when extension one turns into extension two, what they start to do is progressively take away hints. So, firstly, trig functions. Um, secondly, inverse trig functions. And thirdly, log functions. So, this is one, two, three. Now, I will say right off the bat, all of the things that you will look at in these three headings, which are the first three exercises, basically, they're things that an extension one student can, <coughs> excuse me, can do with a little bit of guidance and support, okay? But like I said, with extension two, they're gonna, you're gonna have a lot less written on the page for a paper, and you're gonna have to work it out yourself and recognize it, okay? So, there's the first three pointers. Second pointer is we're gonna borrow something we developed under polynomials. Which is to say, okay, if you have something which is um, a rational function, often when it's given to you, it's not in like a nice f dash on f form, or it's not gonna lean nicely by itself into an inverse trig function. You've gotta muck around with it a little bit. And partial fractions, which if you recall, it was about taking one big fraction, if you can factorize the denominator, you break it up into a bunch of parts, the partial fractions, okay? Um, that can help us with integration a whole lot, okay? And I kind of alluded to it when we were doing polynomials last term, but we're actually going to properly do it. After that, we're going to go into, uh, I'm just thinking about the order. Yep. Uh, this, this sort of connects to this because you generally end up with log um, functions. We're also going to look at t results again, which again is something we know from the, in the context of extension number one. But you can use them for integration in the same way that you use them for solving trig identities and that kind of thing. And often they're the best way. But you're sort of combining this with this, and it's a, it's a very specific kind of solving integrals by substitution, basically. It's just this particular substitution, and it's quite tricky, so that's why it lives in extension two. Okay, after that we've got one, two. Uh, no, two, yeah, two. Two main pointers that are left, okay? Um, I hope you can see all of the parallels I'm drawing with the extension one and the two unit course. This next thing we're looking at, you've done chain rule, and then we learn reverse chain rule, right? So we're like, okay, we can go back and forth between these two. But when you know chain rule, you also know product rule, right? But there's no reverse product rule. At least there isn't in the two unit extension one courses. In extension two, we call the reverse chain rule integration by parts. Okay. And integration by parts is trying to say, okay, there must have been this, this integral you're giving me, okay, the integral of log x, for instance. Where did that come from? Well, actually, it came from a product, right? And some part of the product, it cancelled out, and all you got left with was the log x. Okay? In the extension 1 context, you'll say, okay, um, differentiate x, log x, hence, integrate, blah, 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 right? But here, they'll just hand you the integral, and they won't give you that initial clue. And integration by parts will be our mechanism for doing that. Now, once you learn integration by parts, and I, I mentioned this in the first term, you can integrate so many more things, okay? So, so many more things. In particular, what this does is it kind of unlocks everything that was like you put in this category of impossible to integrate, right? You can now integrate a lot of things that are like that, and anything like it which has powers involved, like those kinds of things, squared, cubed, to the power of four, to the power of 400, if you want. When you do this multiple times, we call this a recurrence relationship. 
Um, or in the context of the course, they just call them recurrence relations. Okay? So it's kind of like doing, um, you know, we had first derivatives and second derivatives, and there's no reason why you couldn't have a third or fourth derivative. This is kind of like first integral, second integral, third integral, and you just keep on going up however many times you want. Okay? And that's basically an overview of where we're going. You can see how much it links with extension one integration, and even two unit, a little bit. So I was writing your reports recently, and one of the things I had to say was, okay, you've done two unit tests, you've done the extension <coughs> one tests. If there were weaknesses there in calculus, you're going to feel them a lot in this topic. So if, you, if you're at any point going through this and you're like, okay, I'm just getting confused on routine things, tell me, go back, like the, the fundamentals have to be very, very strong, obviously, before you can handle all this. Does that make sense? Yeah. 